many of you may wonder how we spend our days on the boat or what we do. <laughs> <laughs> we assure you, we have plenty of things to do. And life on a boat is never boring. Bunny! Focus, Bunny! Well, Bunny, already? Boat work continues. Yes, exactly. So I think from, uh, from the last weeks we have three take-home messages. And um, the first one is that uh, we learned that uh, plastic pipes in the freshwater system actually can break. And uh, we had that this summer when we were not on the boat. And we had uh, in the galley, we had water on the floor from our drinking water. Then uh, we also learned uh, that uh, our seawater toilets, they can leak. So we had a salt water leak from the toilets, small one, but still. And um, we also learned that our freshwater pump is bad, started to sound it a lot. And I guess after seven years, it's time to, to change that one. So what about the fun factor? Here we are in Tenerife in a fantastic climate and we enjoy the beautiful weather. We are in the marina, in the Santa Cruz. We are just a step away from the old town in the city center and we can make frequent visits into the town and uh, enjoying our favorite local places, coffee places, restaurants. Yeah. We were also enjoying a free 90s concert here in the marina a couple of days ago. It was a huge 90s party. Yeah. The boat work is just like it is. Maintenance continues. Yes, you will see it in this video. Yeah. Thank you for following our journey. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to put it in to the comments and we will try to answer. Yeah, okay. yeah. If we can. Who doesn't know us yet? We are Tunde and Tobe. A couple motivated to know different places and interact with other cultures and people. We chose to do this with our house that is also our vehicle, which we run ourselves. It's a constant challenge and we are still figuring the best ways to do it. Currently in the Canary Islands and we are preparing to cross the Atlantic. That's the temperature today. <laughs> nah. 57 Celsius, the teak on the sun. We have changed the halyard and we have changed the shackles. We have some problems in lowering the big mainsail sometimes. It doesn't go fast enough. Raising the main sail. We have uh, totally new lines and new arrangement up there. Boats are leaving for the Caribbean already. Let's go to town. We took a short tour in the town of Santa Cruz, stopping by our favorite places. We need to buy coffee and some shopping to do. Oh, we have been caught up in this big 90s party in the marina. Yeah, so here we have one of the interesting areas where you take away the roof in the boat and in here we have the navigation system which sits here, the plotters and all the connections where you need to go in sometimes when you update the firmware and stuff like this. Then we have the three electrical benches which sits in here and then in here we have the two boxes for the four different regulators to the solar panels. Two here, two here, we have four regulators and here is the latest cable, kind of thick cable. Baking cookies today! 
Everybody's favorite cookies. Jam, Jam cookies. cookies, yeah. In Swedish. Syltkottor. I thought I would give some to our friend Carrie over here in uh, Åka Street. I can go to 12 degrees. They didn't. They don't require any and additional people. And that's Carrie's dog. They didn't even ask me. I oh, know they didn't. Be alone. Hey, buddy. I don't know how other boaters are managing with this very small capacity of uh, the kitchen cupboards. What actually we did, and I'm very happy about it, that we added an extra shelf, a kind of half shelf. So here, this one was not installed originally by Lagoon. We have this uh, UV filter for our drinking water and what happened it is that this one got burst and there was water leaking all over on the floor. We have to change uh, the other anode which sits on the propeller. So we have uh, two of these anodes of zinc and uh, each one on both propellers and uh, they are sitting with screws and the screws have red lock tight so we don't lose them because that has happened a few times too. We have also a third anode in the boat which sits a bit on another place but uh, this we don't need to change very often. Uh, actually I only did once in seven years and this is because I think we have an isolation transformer on board which we installed in the beginning when Mastervolt was changing to lithium batteries. I have to put in my hair as the girls do. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, you are going into the shitty water. Today I think it's quite okay for... after the wind from south. I don't envy you. As we have the ultrasound, we don't have so much of soft growth. Uh, so the hull is quite okay, you can scrub it off. And a thin film or green, but um, the ultrasound doesn't prohibit um, hard growth. You know, the, the uh, ocean tulips and things like this, they are growing quite well. We have a problem leaking toilet. We have seawater toilets, so stopping seawater inlet of course first and then uh, try to get off the pump. We have water leaking here so it means that there is dripping down on the base of the toilet. So the toilet consists of this part here upper part and it has a lower part where the pump is attached to. It's a small place for two people. Uh -huh. hey, oh. enough for one person. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Hey! Oh, this is the macerator. There are some hairs here. Inside here we have this backflow rubber uh, or whatever you call it, right, which opens and closes. And you see it's quite open now here, so I guess it's it's old. It's not very flexible anymore, so it needs to be changed. You see, there, there is a crack. We found out that there was a crack in the toilet base. We ordered a new one and in the meantime we glued with the boxing. <music> We are going then to the crew cabin. This is the noise yeah. from the freshwater pump. We are in the crew cabin right now. You can see that Toby is sitting on the floor. And our next not so glamorous project is. But yeah, we the freshwater system on the boat is placed actually in the crew cabin. It makes a little bit of noise, always done, or do in these catamarans. So um, we have added an extra accumulator tank, which we can have a look at here. And now the, the pump goes quite often and it starts to sound quite a bit. So after seven years, I guess that it's getting a bit old. So we're going to change pump into a new pump, which hopefully 
uh, it doesn't make so much sound and we're gonna pressurize the accumulator tanks again and then we hope that the system will be a bit refreshed. So, so can we uh, explain what we are doing today? Uh, well, what we're going to do now, mm -hmm. the first job, is to see if we have any dirty water in the bottom of the tank. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to disconnect the supply hose from the fresh water pump. We're going to empty it into this clear container mm -hmm. and see if we get any cloudy, cloudy residue, cloudy water. <laughs> Uh, because that could be what's causing the smell. This pipe here that I will be disconnecting. Okay. But first, I have to move this plug out of the way so we don't get the electrics wet. Just get ready to, to switch off for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. System. So here, um, one of these cables is your power supply, which would be. So where are you going to connect the. So this cable, this cable is your power supply, that goes to here, it's spliced into the same connection. Okay. So this is your permanent live. Okay. Alright, yeah. so that is where I will connect this, one. this cable. Yeah. Then you have your switched live, which is this one, mm -hmm. which goes to this cable here. Okay. Alright, so I'll cut that, I'll cut this and that will go to that one. So this end of it will go to that one. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the pump end, cable that comes from the motor, which is this one. Mm -hmm. So I will cut that and I will connect it to this one. Okay. And then the negative, yeah, we'll just cut the negative here, mm -hmm. splice into the negative. But why do they add a relay? I honestly don't know why, because it has an integrated pressure switch. Why do the shower pumps have relays? Also, don't know. A lot of questions. To switch it on. Okay, let's open the water. As you can see, maintenance work takes up a large part of our days. Whether we like it or not, there is always uh, something that needs to be repaired or installed. Yeah, as you can uh, notice the last videos here, the last weeks, uh, and actually months, and uh, there are millions of tasks that, that needs to be done. Either it is new stuff that needs to be installed, or repaired, things breaking down, but it can also be to cleaning the water tanks, make sure that we don't have bacteria in, in, in the fresh water system, uh, sea water maybe leaks from the toilet as you guys have seen. There, there is just millions of things and it just comes all the time. This to-do list uh, is getting actually longer and longer. And this is nothing special for us. This, this Everybody says things the same along the same line when you are living on a boat. So is it a dream? Is it for everyone? I mean maybe not for everyone if this kind of lifestyle this constant works and maintenance that interests somebody and uh, of course we should also mention that the budget uh, is important element of this and you 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 need really an, an, an interest in doing this not not everybody can 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 do this. That's, that's for sure. We are we are putting the questions to ourselves. Actually, uh, if if we are up to this task, if, if we want to continue with this task to drive the boat forward. Yes, but if you want to travel, maybe that's the most affordable way. Maybe, yeah, maybe dream. not. But yeah. so far. <laughs> We didn't manage to figure At least anything. not fully, right? I mean, the dream was to travel with our house on our back, slowly, and, and to reap the benefits of having everything with us, right? Uh, what we didn't really count it on uh, was that it was taking up so much money and work and our, our time that the fun factor sometimes gets a bit rest, I think. You need to schedule this very, very closely. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to know Bye. What it's like Bye. To